but also the aspect of mindset change the aspect mm-hmm. of mindset change it is so mm-hmm. bold like it is so bold even when you don't want to recognize it yeah. it will hit and give you a slap in your face yeah and i think it's something that i picked out mm-hmm. i felt like man it's mm-hmm. like you know watching a motivation speaker speaking to you but this mm-hmm. is a real motivation speaker because mm-hmm. he's speaking an african story a story mm-hmm. that you understand yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. And I was talking to my friend in the National Youth Council, I was like, man, this book needs mm. to be included in curriculum. These things mm. are going to challenge mm. for mindset change. And mm. we don't even yeah. get half of this knowledge. Yeah. I have a feeling that it needs more exposure. I was talking to a few friends and I was like, we have actually good work mm-hmm. about mindset change that is not yet exposed to people because I believe I'm not that so good at reading. Mm. But if I found it nice, I believe yeah. there are thousands of Ugandans Mm. If they have access to it, mm. it can change their lives. Yeah. Okay. Um. Maybe the uh, other thing. Is, about... I believe talking alone, they might mm. miss a lot. I feel like that book is so nice that one yeah. cannot, you know, give you a brief of it like yeah. one hour, like you're you... missing a lot. But you if you read it, mm. yeah, if you read it, it's mm. self-explanatory. Like you wow. do not need to emphasize a point. It, wow. it explains it. Like it's ex- it's changed my life. I remember I was not going for politics <laughs> because mm-hmm. I didn't have money. I remember telling you this story. Yeah, yeah. And a friend of mine was like, "Read the book." Mm. I was like, "I don't need to read a book right now. All I need is money." Yeah. He was like, "Read the book," and I can tell you after reading the book, like it's so addictive that you want mm. to know what is happening in the other chapters. Like I want to, I want to finish it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I remember after finishing it, I hit the road and mm. I thank God that I joined. I thank God that I joined politics because mm. I have gotten opportunities that I wouldn't yeah. have gotten if I did not dare to try. Yeah. So, yeah, wow, it's my int- practical changes is I have realized that I do not have limitations. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to maybe blame you like my parents, they didn't mm. do enough. Mm-hmm. For example, when I joined politics, there is a lot of like rich people's kids. Yeah. This one is this is your son, and this one is this one's son. They have mm-hmm. this amount. Mm-hmm. And then for you, you're trying to fix where you don't fit. You know, in your yeah, heart, yeah. you're like, you don't fit in these guys. Yeah, yeah. Like, you don't fit. You're not going to make it through and all of that. Mm-hmm. But what the book helped me is to know that I'm enough and I'm meant to be here. Yeah, like, yeah. I set my mind and I told mm-hmm. myself I'm enough. And I'm meant to be here. Wow, wow. So the practical bit of it is, mm. you know, someone does not understand the aspect of a mindset change mm-hmm. until you change it. It is very hard to change a mind. I can yeah. tell you. Of course. It is extremely hard. I have been attending those mindset changes in Simon Chamfa. Yeah. <laughs> then I go to for someone comes and tell you something, but you feel like you're not shifting. Yeah. Yes. I remember there is a day when you were like, government is not helping us. They mm. are not supporting oh. us. They are not doing mm. this. That's why we are broke. Mm-hmm. Until I went, when I read that book, I was like, you need to sober up, young yep. lady. Like, you need to sober up, like, real quick. No one is mm-hmm. going to come and give you money. Mm-hmm. Use what you have. Use the social capital that you have. Use everything that you have around you. And mm-hmm. I have realized I do not have limitations in certain things. I do yeah. not. Man, we hate motivation speakers. Like, they yeah. are not real. And they are like, not real. Mm-hmm book is real this mm. book is real and the beauty of it it is written by an african person who understands the mm. african perspective and i think everyone needs to read that book i wish my my parents read that book yeah bringing <laughs> you up. it's like our yeah. education system a lot of people have complained about our education system mm. but because people that make decisions on what syllabus we are going to study are still in that you know colonized yeah. mindset and they do not understand. Yeah. <laughs> Even when you them, no, no. <laughs> they, you need this information. They do they, not understand. And you don't yeah. blame them. Yeah. No, they are I clueless. Mean, yeah. yeah. So in my heart, I was like, wow. Yeah. Every parent needs to read this book. Like every parent needs <laughs> to read this yeah. book. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that, wow. Yeah. No, that is really powerful. Yeah. Ah. Oh. It, that is so encouraging. I mean, to see someone as young as you with this new, uh, newfound uh, structuring of the mind. I mean, that that is great. And you you did this without leaving Uganda. You know, without working in a big job in in another country, but just by reading, you unlocked the 
thinking of your mind and you are yeah. on the road to being successful, whether in Uganda or anywhere you end up. Is that the mm -hmm. right characterization? Yeah. Yes, because exactly. <laughs> uh, exactly. I